Never installed a fire hydrant before. This guy's gonna get a piece of my mind if he's doing what I think he's doing. It's time for fun stuff. Now it's time to get it wet. What's up, fish tank people? Dawson's Fish Tanks bringing it to you on a Sunday, baby. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. In today's video, I'm gonna show you more about what's going on with the move to Greenhouse 2.0, but it's Sunday, it's Species Sunday. I've got some great plants to show you all. But first, feeling a little bit woo-woo, I gotta bring it to y'all on something that's going on with this 2.0 move. All right, first things first, man, I wanna say a huge thank you to everybody who's left some positive comments and uh, been supportive of me and my team and you know fulfilling my dream into moving into Greenhouse 2.0. As many of you know, it's been a long saga, longer than I would have liked, and I'm actually on my plan B with getting this role. And so I wanna just personally say thank you to that. And I would like to ask you all a question. I would love for you all to leave me a note in the comments. How would you like for me to celebrate the opening of Greenhouse 2.0? Please put your ideas, comments, whatnot, down in the bottom. Now, I want to get a little bit woo-woo with you all though because everybody is seeing the finished product. Everybody is seeing like the, the polishing here, but nobody wants to talk about something that's gross and it's part of it. And I think our society has kind of overlooked this these days, so I'm going to dig into it real hard. It's like this. Anything that is going to be awesome, it's going to be great for you, it's probably going to suck for a while and everybody seems to skip the suck part. They wanna go right in and oh, I'm just gonna do this and I'm gonna create a YouTube page and blah, 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 it's gonna be awesome, it's gonna blow up. Look, I've been making videos for almost 10 years, all right, a decade, okay? I started when I was 20 and I'm 38, right? I had two kids in the meantime, okay? It takes time, it takes patience. Let me give you more tangible advice. I'm talking to my wife about going to Hawaii, she's like, I don't know, the flight to Hawaii is so long, yeah. It's gonna take a long time because it's a remote island in the Pacific. So yes, flying to Hawaii, you're going to be on a plane for a long time. I like to go hiking in the gorge. Let's take this back to nature. When I go hiking in the gorge, I climb up some of the steepest, gnarliest, nastiest cliffs that I can find. Why? Because when you're at the top and you've struggled and it's been hard and you're like, man, I need a drink of water because I'm way up here. It's the best views. The best views are from the top. Let me pull this into my personal best scape. The 900 gallon at the Newport Aquarium, I'm super proud of. That took a lot of work, okay? I was lugging in giant rocks into that scape and I took a risk and I used massive rocks in there and it's one of my personal best aquascapes, but that was a lot of hard work. I was up there two late nights in a row. Oh, by the way, that was in the middle of the constructing of Greenhouse 2.0. So everybody wants this big awesome thing to happen, but nobody really realizes the sacrifices that people have to make. I can name multiple YouTubers who have made tremendous sacrifices. You can name them yourself too, of people that you know have gone crazy off camera or had to stop making videos to take a break. There's a lot of that going on that nobody wants to talk about. Everybody wants to see the polish. Look, I'm making this video after a run. I feel like a million bucks, but I look like, heck, I gotta go shower before I take you to Greenhouse 2.0. But I really wanna hammer that and I wanna draw it again as well. So this is the fun part. This is a 350 gallon aquarium right here. Dusty's got his 350 and I've got dudes that finally come and move it and we're coming down and we're moving this 350 and we got this guy here and we're moving it. It took four dudes to move the three, five dudes to move the 350 and we're moving it into this epic greenhouse with an atrium style roof and another building that's attached and it's a clear vision that I've had. I had this vision like 18 months ago or whatever of exactly what I wanted with this greenhouse right here. Okay, I had all this going on and we move all this and we're moving into 2.0. But guess what's going on in the meantime that none of you all see and none of you all know. Parents, you might see this. Over here is three women in my life. Right here, right here. And they're not smiling. They're actually upset. There's a little bit of tears. This is angry. This is, I'm not, daddy's not home for dinner. 
my husband hasn't been around to do the dishes or pick up the kids or get the groceries or whatever. This is like, this is three women that are not happy with dad because I've been spending all of my time over here, right? You hear about like the CEO dad that never sees his kids, right? I have like sacrificed these people right here for a significant amount of time to make my vision clear. Now, here's the good part, and I had this happen to me the other day. This is the first week we actually ship packages out of 2.0. There's nobody in my yard right now. The only remnants I have is that path that leads back to the barren shell that was Greenhouse 1.0, okay? So now, now it looks good. Now everybody's like, oh, that's so cool, that's so great. Nobody realizes the hard part, like how I had to get a form-fitted bite guard because I was gnawing my teeth at night, or I had to shave my head because I was looking because I was going gray. Nobody wants to talk about that, and I think it's very important because what you're seeing now in a quick edited little video, there's a lot, you know how many times I've driven to Nicholasville? You know how many times I've pulled up to a scene only to tell somebody they're doing something wrong or screwed up? Or I've had to like, I have to go, I have to leave right now, in fact, to go make sure this dude puts the fire hydrant in right and the concrete's getting done. Nobody understands that. And the point of this little rant is this. If you want something big, something dream, something that you're dreaming for, as Brian Tracy so eloquently says, you guys should listen to this motivational stuff. I don't know why you don't. What one great dream would you dare to dream if you knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that you absolutely could not fail. The only difference is how badly do you want it and are you willing to pay the price to get it, okay? I'm not trying to get too woo-woo with you, but I paid a little bit of price. This didn't just show up in the mail. Now let's go show it to you. Yeah, I've been you guys with a lot of the woo-woo stuff recently. We've gotten multiple uh, orders from people that have said something to the effect of, yeah, dude, you know, your affirmations and stuff like that have uh, have changed my life or had a positive impact or whatever. So I hope I can help you with your aquariums. But if, uh, you know, one or two people are affected by some sort of positive influence that I can bring into their life and change the direction because you're not just regular old animals. We are humans. We can control the direction we go. If one or two people can be affected positively and head themselves in the right direction, uh, I feel like we're doing the right thing here. I'm trying to enlighten you on drive to 2.0. No, I only listen to like motivational stuff, a little bit of old school trance and a little bit of Wu-Tang here and there, but primarily it's stuff that keeps me motivated. But check this out. See this photo of this dude right here? This is one happy SOB right here. That is yours truly in Greenhouse 2.0 with no plants, no tubs, no nothing. Right after the concrete was laid, my boy Steve took this photo and I absolutely love this photo. But this was not the first time this photo was taken. This photo was actually taken over 30 years ago and I'm not even in the photo. This is a photo of Dick Mouse. Esther Mouse is now the owner of Aquaflora Aquanova and Aquaflora, okay, they are a wonderful company. They do aquarium plants. This is Dick Mouse. Look at the smile on this dude's face when his greenhouse is being erected. This guy, I've never met and died before my time. This guy right here did something that I wanted to do. So I always thought in the back of my mind that if he can do it, I can do it. And you guys need to have that in your mind. If someone's already where you are, if they can do it, you can do it. And I've got a more real example for you and one based in the US that I think is even better. And this footage is near and dear to my heart and I have a whole video coming out at some point about it, but it goes like this. What's the money all about? Here's the money, cream get the money, dollar dollar bills y'all. This is me sitting across from Elwyn Seagrest. Okay, Elwyn Seagrest is in like Seagrest Farms. Seagrest Farms brings in a million fish a week. Elwyn Seagrest, when I said I wanted to get him on camera, was on his boat. I like boats, I haven't been on a boat in forever. Elwyn Seagrest is on his boat in his 80s, and guess what? He sold Seagrest Farms for 62 million bucks. 62 million, you all can't even fathom that, and quite frankly, I can't even fathom that. He was in his 80s when he hit pay dirt and sold it to Central Garden and Pet for 62 million bucks. Now, you don't think I looked at him as a role model, as somebody I could look up to, somebody who's been there? Yeah, look around for people. Look around for people who are where you are and do what they are doing and consult them and ask them how you can get to where they are. Their answers will surprise you. Never installed a fire hydrant before? This guy's gonna get a piece of my mind if he's doing what I think he's doing. Holding to put it over here. 
Can't put it over there. I was putting it where he said he wasn't supposed to put it. Andrew editing. Construction. Andrew editing. Fire hydrant. Wise man knows he is not wise. So building inspector's already been talking to my neighbor Charlie, the guy who lends me his truck, unlike what the lady would do. So I'll go over to him, because we're talking about what to do with the sidewalk, because the sidewalk, you gotta have a sidewalk, it's B1 and blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, hey man, if you look over here at his sidewalk, you can see he got his, he got his poured, but it was one pour and then he cut it. And I was like, well that looks way more efficient than uh, me doing two pours. So I said, hey Charlie, what's up? And I go, what's up dude? And I was like, uh, what did the building inspector say about your sidewalk? He said, I gotta, he said, I gotta rip it out. So we're gonna have to do two separate pours when it comes to the sidewalk. Which is more money, whatever, but you gotta do it right the first time. There's like these little things, you don't wanna redo it. So I got those two figuring it out. I'm acting like I know what's going on. Got it hooked up to Wadsworth. Might be worth cash. Time for fun stuff. Work shirt's off. Oliver Kanat shirt that I never wear is on. Safety goggles. Handling insulation. So what we're doing is we lay insulation down underneath these. The reason for that is there's multiple reasons, but one, uh, temperature, we don't want, if it's cold underneath concrete, we don't want the cold coming up. We want a layer of uh, warmth or not a layer of insulation in between there. And then two, if you go and step on it or something, it gives you just a little bit more cushion, uh, you know, should something happen, we don't want to puncture the liner. So it gives me just a little bit more of a give if something uh, abrupt is going down through the pond liner. That's a 40 uh, tall over there. It's actually 30, 37 if you want to be nerdy about it. But we're gonna cut these, put these in here, and we're gonna lay the liner down. So this is how it's running. Unfortunately, I have a little too much pond liner, so I'd like to kind of save some of that. I hate to waste it, but it is what it is. But I'm gonna fill this all out and then cut it back. I'm gonna get as much of it on the sides as I can so I can salvage this piece. But um, I'm just like miser mode, I gotta save it all. But that's the general layout. It'll be about 400 gallons when it's done. Not bad. Now it's time for the fun part. Now it's time to get it wet. That's a rewarding moment right there, seeing the water come in there. That's why I'm doing this on a Friday afternoon. Cleaned up a little bit. A little bit. It was all done today and yesterday. Man, Mark Hemingway is starting to be able to see what it's gonna look like here. 24 foot wide entrance, 24. It's typically a good number for Dusty, who's the Aquarius born on the 24th. We've got this over here, all the curbs going there. Curbs are expensive, but money well spent. Right there, going to that drain. Over here, parking island. Other one over here, got these forms. Got my pile of 57s. Hit the, this thing sucks. I'll have to get like right up underneath it. Then we got all oh, the plants mess, which is not in my house, but whatever. And you walk in here, vents are open automatically. I wanted to show this. These aren't, they need to get finished, but whatever. The plants come. Hi, bro! Doesn't get better than that. Cold sun, can't ask for better than that, boys.
Boom. More to come. We'll get it going. The vision is finally coming. It's a mess. It's gonna be a mess for a while. That's fine. Stuff takes time. It takes a minute for everything to work right. Dude's coming with the fire hydrant. Guys doing the concrete. Things take time. We'll get it done. We'll get it cleaned up. I'll admit it. I love concrete. A51 post run, couldn't be in a better mood. And I get a call from the Jesuit County Water Department. They're gonna move my water main, because my water main sits in the middle of my driveway and that's not allowed and they can uh, commercial property. You know, 800 bucks, by the way, I gotta pay my plumber to do it. This, by the way, was done with my infinite wisdom to get water on the property first. I, Dustin, as the partially mature adult, am responsible for this because I put the water meter right dead center and then when I had to find a development plan later oh here they are again here they go calling me call me it's spring everything's nice winter show is dead every now and then